an aspiring singer-songwriter, her mega-famous parents, and a media circus in close pursuit, life hasn't always been easy for Alexa Ray Joel, but that hasn't stopped her from fighting back. Being the daughter of world-renowned supermodel Christy Brinkley and Grammy Award-winning musician Billy Joel must come with a whole lot of pressure. That said, Alexa has made quite a name for herself, far beyond the reach of her parents' shadows, even though she has followed in both of their footsteps. Alexa found quick success on runways around the world, including, for example, the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women fashion show during the 2015 New York Fashion Week. Aside from modeling, music holds a special place in her heart, and she released her first six-track EP, Sketches, in 2006. Alexa went on to release several other singles, including For All My Days and Beg You to Stay, before taking a nearly decade-long hiatus. Reportedly, she did this in the wake of some particularly harsh criticism from the media. Much of the media attention surrounding Alexa concerned her changing looks over the years. Many were introduced to her when she was a teenager or young woman. As she grew up, she began to attract negative attention from the press, which had a significant impact on her own body image. By 2010, Alexa had endured a serious rough patch. Just months prior, in December 2009, she took nearly a dozen homeopathic painkillers in her New York City apartment. Though the pills had no active ingredient and overdosing was impossible, the singer was taken to St. Vincent's Hospital for treatment, and later clarified to ABC News that she wasn't trying to kill herself. An insider spoke with the New York Post at the time, revealing that Joel struggled with various mental issues, including her body image. I'm in so much pain, and I just wanted to numb it. This struggle had previously motivated her to undergo a nose job, she confirmed the procedure in April 2010, telling People magazine, I was thinking about getting this for years. I was self-conscious of pictures taken from the side. To some people, that's vain, but at the end of the day, we all want to feel pretty. Despite her nose surgery, Alexa was firm in her stance that she would never get any additional work done to her body. However, that didn't stop the rumor mill from running at full speed. After her rhinoplasty, many theorized that she had even more operations done. As 2014 rolled in, Alexa's looks were once again the topic of discussion. This time, prominent New York plastic surgeon Dr. Matthew Shulman gave his opinion to Radar Online. Speaking to the outlet, he suggested that Alexa had undergone additional surgery. He explained, Her upper eyelids are wider, suggesting an upper blepharoplasty. Her lips are fuller, likely the result of fillers such as Restylane or Juvederm. He also pointed out that Alexa's higher-than-usual cheekbones were likely enhanced using fillers. Alexa shot down such speculation in an Instagram post shortly after Shulman's interview was published. Though she has since stripped the caption from the picture, she denied having more cosmetic work and attributed her facial differences to an excellent glam squad. She added, I would just like to add that all of the continuously circulating rumors that I have had extensive face work and undergone breast augmentation surgery is simply and entirely 100% false. The only thing I have ever had done is my nose. Alexa has faced other issues in recent years too, including the divorce of her mother, Christy Brinkley, and stepfather, Peter Cook. Today though, it seems that the majority of Alexa's issues are long behind her. Pursuing her love of music with a new fiancé, Ryan Gleason, by her side, Alexa appears to be moving forward. Here's hoping she has finally been able to put the media's cruel critiques behind her. If you or someone you know is struggling or in crisis, help is available. Call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org.